Meghan Markle has proven herself to be the hostess with the mostest, if her friends are anything to go by. In a recent interview one of her close pals revealed that they had flown to London from L.A. in order to stay with the pregnant Duchess, and let slip some of her hosting secrets. Speaking to people the anonymous friend revealed that members of Meghan's inner circle have all stayed at the cozy Nottingham cottage that she shares with Prince Harry. The acquaintance also noted that the group had stayed while the Duke of Sussex was away, but added that Meghan would usually cook for him every day. They said, we've all been to their cottage. It's small and she's made it cozy, but the perception of their lifestyle and the reality are two different things. Meg cooks for herself and Harry every single day. And it seems that visiting guests are also given the royal treatment. The friend revealed, in the room she made up for me, there was a candle lit by the bed, slippers and a robe. We were the only two in the house. It was our time. She made the most lovely meals. She made tea every day. It was raining and muddy outside, so the dogs got all dirty, and she's wiping them off with towels. The interview, which was published yesterday saw five close friends of the Duchess, who have not revealed their names as they don't want to jeopardize their relationship with her, told people that Meghan penned a letter to her father, Thomas Markle, shortly after her wedding to Prince Harry. Dad, I'm so heartbroken. I love you. I have one father. Please stop victimizing me through the media so we can repair our relationship. She is said to have written to Thomas after he gave a flurry of negative press interviews about her. The five female friends, reported to be in Meghan's innermost circle, say Thomas then responded in a long letter of his own, in which he asked his daughter for a photo shoot. She feels like, that's the opposite of what I'm saying. I'm telling you I don't want to communicate through the media, and you're asking me to communicate through the media. Did you hear anything I said? The friends revealed. The group of unnamed friends also voiced their concerns that the strain of her ongoing estrangement with her father, and the stress of dealing with his public rants about her, could well be taking its toll on Meghan and Prince Harry's unborn child. While these friends have chosen to stay anonymous, other friends have been more vocal about their visits to the Duchess. Last month she is understood to have invited US-based beauty guru Daniel Martin for an intimate catch-up at Kensington Palace while he was in London. The pair enjoyed black tea, posh sandrinum coffee truffles and slices of avocado toast served on silver crockery. Daniel, who is responsible for Meghan's wedding makeup, delighted fans by sharing a snap of the spread, writing, Back to our Tig days. Thank you Megan for being the consummate hostess this weekend and still being the hashtag avocado toast whisperer, yum. Hashtag foodie hashtag diagram. Both Megan and Daniel tucked into two modest slices of seeded toast smothered in avocado, washing them down with cups of tea apparently served without milk. Fittingly, the chocolates are Fortnum and Mason's 13 pounds and 95 pence Sandringham coffee truffles which were served directly from the royal retailer's distinctive blue box. The crockery was elegantly mismatched, with a brushed blue ceramic teapot and cup sitting in contrast with the formal scallop-edged silver saucer and side plates. Daniel, who has known Meghan for a number of years, discreetly shared details of the afternoon tea's venue by Gyo tagging his Instagram post London, United Kingdom.